Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Axiom Verge. We're up here, so I guess we'll go left and then go right. Thank you. Wait, does this hurt me? It might. Gotta remember all the buttons, it's been a while. Ah, yes, the grappling hook. Wow, that... Oh, that didn't go as bad as I expected. Yep, that hurts. All this for a no. I see. Got it! Can we read it, though? Not only some robbery, yeah. Okay. I can get you from here. And then I will heal all of the damage we've taken. Well, that's cool. I'm glad we could actually get to it. I half expected to need another power. Probably going... Hmm. Nah, we'll see. Uh, over. I was thinking... Die! I was thinking die, but... That there might be need, need to be some kind of break in between the finish of this, because I should probably collect everything, because these nodes are going to give us the story. And the episode where I run around and get everything in the game usually takes a long time to do. So I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get it done in time. We'll see, though. Bet I could go up here. Yes. Should I, though? I can't. Okay. Mine? Mine. Nothing? Okay. If I remember right, the story got much more... What? Much more interesting because... You've been... Are you not hostile? I have a feeling you're going to be. This was that boss room. Okay, well, I couldn't go to the side, so I guess I'll go over. Oh, this was... There's a save point here. I didn't get any kind of power-up, did I? I don't think we did. Uh, we teleported down there. I couldn't go down. We couldn't go up. Okay, so I actually needed to come all the way back down here and go up in here, because there's another upgrade. Ooh. Minor statistical increases, eventually. That one isn't big enough yet. Come in. Gotcha. Hey, and we didn't get trapped in there forever. That's neat. Slow down. And then everybody hated Pandaria. I thought it was alright. Trench code! Double tap to teleport in any direction. Our lab coat. It upgraded to a trench coat. No? Oh. I can do that in the air? Is that what the upgrade was? I don't know what to do. Wait, it's a dash? I can use it anywhere now. This did... Okay, so I don't have to stand next to walls and try and face through them. We go wherever we please now. So I bumped into this little room right here that we couldn't get into before, and there were these little things in here that kind of exploded into bugs. I, like, destabilized two of them, and each of them gave me a power node. Or not a power node, a health node. So we have actually almost got another one. The Breach. Our best conjecture thus far is that it is a forced relinking of the lattices underlaying adjacent universes. The Breach Attractor then has some capacity to shift the points at which the lattices link. 
The region beyond the breach remains intact, as when the breach recedes, the atmosphere and surrounding ocean don't encounter a vacuum in its absence, though there is a strong disturbance in the currents once the two sides meet again. Outside of a breach elevator, passing through the, be the breach can be fatal. The Sudrans use this as a makeshift shield to keep out intruders, or, as in our case, to keep something else trapped in. Based on their writings, it seems that the Sudrans have long ago lost a scientific understanding of what the breach truly is, perceiving it as an intense meteorog no, meteorological phenomena rather than a divider between worlds. A7 hypothesized that the breach itself is invisible, and that the effort we see, or the effect that we see in the sky, is in fact a protective field of microscopic elements covering the frayed ends. Huh. And then everything thickens. So the breach is invisible and the people who first found the breach or invented the breach didn't really- no, they couldn't have invented it. Whoever first found it didn't really have a proper understanding of it. It was right here. Yep, this is definitely the thing we couldn't get past before. Fast travel, because it's down. But to the right, there's new things. Oh, if I hold X, they just shoot. No! Okay, we made it through. I was like, don't do it. This area. Oh, are we going to be outside the whole time again? Stay away. I don't know. I did, that just seems like it'd be easier to aim at them like that. Okay, so they die quick if you can actually hit them. Nice. Wow, most of them becomes health. Does that make them harder to hit, though? I think it does. Guaranteed health, though. What does destabilizing these things do? Maybe you kill all of them when you kill one? Nope. Hmm. Need to remember I have the grapple. I did not mean to dash there. I feel like that's gonna happen a lot. Not that it can happen anywhere. It doesn't work. Oh my god, it works up? You're kidding. I never thought to try that. There is a lot of those. I can dash up. It's almost like having a double jump. It's just harder to use. Please die. I'm dying two shots. If only they died in one. Yay, being able to get even further. Does it work diagonally? It works diagonally? You're kidding. It's in any direction? Wow, I can even go down. Uh, you being able to go through the walls is kind of cheap. Please stop. Nah, you're gonna need another upgrade. We can't go that way. I ain't fighting this. Turn into health. Thank you. Wow, we can go down anywhere. I probably just lost it all. Well, if they keep trying to come straight down on me. And I eventually... Do you not aggro? No! No! Okay. Little too much. Save point? Those don't look friendly. I had to answer the phone, and this stuff is totally trying to sneak up on me. Uh, and it's completely, completely immune to, like, everything. Okay! What? 
Was there a way to avoid that? I didn't notice any indication on the ground. I was looking at the green things. Once, uh, once more. Maybe we'll be able to get through this room with a little bit more health? If that thing didn't one-shot me, I'm sure that would have been fine. Teleport! Tele- Teleport. Kind of terrible, awful things. Wait us in the next rooms. If only I had some kind of invisibility, you're faster than me. Give me health instead. I wish they took more damage when I did that. It makes them harder to shoot as well. Can't go through there. Well, let, let's stick on the low road this time. I didn't get anything spiffy for going up high. No? Never mind. High was the only option. Oh, that's right. I can teleport it at an angle. I could just get the commands down. Got it. And then they'll have to come at me from this direction. Sweet! Back up to full. Anything up here I should know about? Wait. I'm going about this stupid. Just because I haven't played in a long time. Where's the tree? I'll get you all! Trying to hit with the weapon that doesn't even have. I don't even know where my head is. If you find it, let me know. Uh... Didn't even uncover everything on the map. Okay. I don't see any way to get up there. The room looks rectangular. Maybe we get a jetpack. Do we get a jetpack? Okay, there is at least a direction to go over here. Can I go two, two up? Nope, okay. Get out of here. I love this weapon mod. It doesn't do the most damage. But at least it actually hits, you know? Hey, we explored one more bit of the map. So is there possibly any way to know? I don't know what these things are. I don't trust them. Do these things turn into the ghouls and I just didn't notice? Where are we? Down probably goes to that other fast travel area, right? Yes. Oh, there was something here, though. And I can't read it. Ah, oh, there was actually a door going off to the right. Ah, I guess we'll check that out. Cool, so you couldn't have gone through there either. Oh. A save point! How convenient. Bloop. Now let's see if we can't get somewhere else in here. Up and over. And up. Thank you. We go right. I wish I could at least disrupt them or interact with them in some way. Them turning into ghoul ghouls is... Well, that's gotta be what that is, right? I don't see how they could have just popped out of the ground any otherwise. We can't go that way. And I can't tell- oh my god, they're bigger. We can kill them, though! Their size. It made them lazy. Here we go. I'm lying you to a blip- no, I'm not gonna do that. I will press- we'll press B, though. Can I not get up here? Ooh, can I get it with the thing? Thing, get it. Drone! Axiom 1. A. All algorithms are universal and valid. 
regardless of whether they are executed. B. Cognition is a sub-algorithm whose behavior is to perceive properties of the parent algorithm describing it. Any algorithm, C, giving rise to cognitive entities will be perceived as reality by the entities described. This axiom, it's from my paper. The one that earned me that nickname. I knew it. It's, it's, uh, it's us. Athetos is a different timeline version of us or something. It'd be kind of neat if it was just like, hey, you want to work with him? What if he's actually the good guy? Hey, actually, he's kind of destroying a planet. Maybe, maybe not a good guy. Slightly less than bad guy. Yeah, that's, that's a platform. Because, like, I stand on this now? It's a flying carpet! Aladdin intensifies. I don't like that you can go through the ground. Okay, so those can be damaged in some way, just not, not the way I'm using it. I'm gonna die. Probably with the mining stuff? No! Okay, I shot something. Can I kill them with this? Can I kill them with this? That's actually really nice. It artificially extends my health. Another one of them things. Oh, multiple. Health. After all these years. Woo, we made it first try. No. Wow, we can hit like the whole room with this. We just need a few more range extensions. I don't want these to be ghouls. Can oh, no. Okay. Please don't teleport onto it. Please don't teleport onto it. I, these things might not be hostile, but they might be the ghoul things. And that they might be the ghoul things is enough for me to not want to fight them. So we've got a new area full of tons of stuff that could kill me really easily. And we'll continue to check out through here. Sorry if I'm still kind of dazed. Either way, thank you guys very much for watching all the same. Hope you liked it. Later, everybody.